China's newest shocking plans, and how they will change the world. As we all know that China is the newly emerging superpower in the world. It is giving tough competition to the United States in all aspects, be it economic development, defense projects, or other mega-projects for new futuristic infrastructure. Since the 1950s, China has been growing drastically in all fields. In the Arab world, China has achieved many astonishing projects since then. Since 1959, China has converted millions of acres of dry desert land into greenery, an accomplishment that hasn't been possible for any other country to do till now. Moreover, China has also built the first Ring Desert Railway in the world. This railway is 825 kilometers long in total, with 305 kilometers of it being in the desert. Since then, China has been hopeful that it can use the desert for many of its other mega-projects and bring the desert land into use. One of these mega-projects is a giant underground project that will be built below the growing level of the Middle East's deserts. Some reports suggest that China will be spending a total of 14 billion US dollars for this project. Although many think that China will just be wasting its money and time on this project as it will not succeed in doing that. Well, only time will tell us that. But the question is, what is it that China wants to build, and why does it want to build it in the middle of a desert? In terms of natural gas reserves, China is one of the top 10 countries in the world, but most of these natural gas resources are found in the northwest of China and in the South China Sea. China has vast gas resources and recently it has started to focus on energy growth as well as on gas transmission projects to provide a steady distribution of gas to all parts of the country. Still, there is a big imbalance between natural gas and oil in contrast to other energy sources because it is extremely unpredictable in nature. The greatest difficulty is to store these resources. To solve this problem, China is ready to spend 14 billion US dollars in the making of a huge underground natural gas storage tank in the middle of a desert. In this way, they will be able to deal promptly with changing climate and any other unanticipated disaster. Situated in the dry regions of Xinjiang province of China, this storage facility will have a storage of a total of 5.6 billion square meters when completed, and the available gas volume will be around 2 billion cubic meters. Well, that seems huge, doesn't it? This project is expected to be completed by the year 2025. Unfortunately, many experts say that this project will not be a successful one. The biggest challenge for engineers working on this project will be the extremely dry conditions of this area and its unstable topography. If China succeeds in building this project successfully, it will be indeed a great achievement for its infrastructure and people all across the world will admire China. If completed successfully, this project will also drastically improve the living conditions of people in western China. Well, let's wait and see whether China will be able to do what is thought to be almost an impossible task. Talking about the impossible, this mega gas storage project isn't the only project that China is working on. As we all know, China and Taiwan are neighboring countries with a great history, and these days Taiwan has also been in the news as tension between US and China has been increasing over Taiwan. China and Taiwan are separated by a water strait. Right now, the only means of transportation between the two countries are by boats and by planes. But China has some bigger plans for this traveling shortage too. China wants to construct an underwater high-speed train to cross this strait and connect with Taiwan. China has been wanting to do this for quite some time now, but until now, it has been unsuccessful in doing so. It first began planning this underwater rail in 1997. Just imagine, if constructed successfully, a person from Beijing will be able to travel to Taipei across the ocean by a high-speed train in just minutes. China is only 131 kilometers away from Taiwan, while the high-speed trains in China can travel at a speed of up to 350 kilometers per hour. Hence, using these high-speed trains, it will only take around 20 minutes to reach Taiwan. Well, tell me if you are visiting China, wouldn't you also want to then visit Taiwan too within just a few hours? 
Although this project seems a really difficult one, it isn't impossible, and it's China that we're talking about. China loves doing the difficult. This project won't only be difficult, but will also be very expensive. Since constructing an undersea tunnel will be the most difficult task in this project, even advanced countries of the world including Japan, the US, and Germany are not daring to take this project. China has also been working on connecting its islands through a sophisticated network of high-speed trains. Starting in 2008, China spent billions of dollars in the construction of these train networks as it had the view that building a strong and well-connected roads and railways was the first step towards becoming rich. Apparently, they were right. Since then, China's high-speed train network system has become one of the most advanced and sophisticated in the world. Not only this, but China is now also competing with Germany and Japan to construct these railway systems in other countries of the world, including Russia, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, and Africa. The speed of China's first high-speed train was 160 km per hour. World's longest high-speed rail line also began to function in China in 2012. The high-speed train route from Beijing to Zhuangguo has decreased the traveling time between the two cities by 8 hours. After this, China started working on connecting every city in the country with these high-speed train networks. Well, money is what matters the most. On average, a kilometer of high-speed rail costs almost 15 million US dollars. China has completed 40,000 kilometers of this rail, while another 35,000 kilometers are being constructed. Although 15 million US dollars seems like a big price tag for one kilometer of rails, but it is far less than what it costs in Western countries to develop a similar railway. This is mainly because of cheaper labor in China. The speeds of these high-speed trains have also been updated from an initial speed of 160 km per hour to a speed of 350 km per hour. Now, after having connected most of its cities through these high-speed trains, China has set its eyes on the target of connecting to Taiwan, using one of these high-speed trains that will cross the ocean in an underwater tunnel and reach Taiwan within 20 minutes. To achieve this, there is a need for a deep understanding of technology, engineering, and structures that can help cross this long body of water. Until now, no country in the world has been successful to do this. Do you think China will be successful in doing this or not? Tell us in the comments section below! Moving forward, you should also know that China is not only working inside its own country, but overseas too. One such example is China's ongoing projects in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a dry country in the Middle East. Mecca, a city of Saudi Arabia, is a holy city for Muslims and receives millions of Muslim pilgrims annually from all over the world. During the Haji season, Saudi Arabia receives even more of these pilgrims, which results in extreme traffic issues because of rush. To overcome this issue, Saudi government planned to reconstruct the Mecca light rail, which is 18.5 kilometers long. Japan, Germany, and China initially had put forward bids for this project. But due to extremely difficult terrain and extreme weather conditions in the region, Japan and Germany backed off, leaving only China to win the bid. Only two companies were left for the bidding process. One was a Saudi railway company and China Railway Construction. Initially, Saudi Arabia preferred a local company for this task, but later it was given to China as the Chinese company was doing it for much less price of $2.2 billion as an initial bid, but was later reduced to $1.7 billion, which was $1 billion US dollars less than local Saudi company. But unfortunately, due to extremely difficult working conditions, China lost 700 million US dollars in this project. In this project, Chinese engineers will face three main difficulties. The first one is a windy and sandy environment. The second is the shaky roadbed. And the third will be the dry and warm climate of Saudi Arabia. China has elaborately planned to overcome all these problems. The walkways and roadbeds were extensively reinforced, using different materials to increase the thickness of the substrate. This helped solve the shaky roadbed problem. For the sandy and windy environment, China has put together a skillful team of hundreds of experts to do calculations and predictions about areas that are at the highest risk of facing sandstorms. 
to deal with the issue of high temperatures and dryness. Platforms of 40 meters in height were built on both sides of the railway. This helped in two ways. First, it provided safety to the trains. Secondly, it helped in providing better working conditions for the workers involved in the construction of this project, as the temperature in these desert areas of Saudi Arabia can reach as high as 70 degrees Celsius, which is impossible to work in. The time frame in which this project has to be completed by China is 22 months only. Therefore, China is increasing its workforce as well as investment in this project, which has caused China a loss of 700 million US dollars in total. But one thing is for sure, China has shown the world that it is highly capable of doing the most difficult of mega projects in the shortest periods of time. And talking about Saudi Arabia, we all know that it is well known for its oil and gas reserves. Well, now soon China is jumping in that wagon too. Drilling for oil and gas in the deep sea is thought to be unethical around the world. But still, there are many reasons to suggest that it has a lot of positive influence on the country. Offshore drilling for oil and gas can help elevate a country's economy and international status, as well as protect its land environment. Moreover, it is considered a long-term investment for a country as it creates a great number of employment opportunities. Now, China, which already has almost 61 drilling platforms across the country, has revealed the news that it is going to shock the world. China's researchers have discovered that there are gas reserves in the deep sea to the south of Hainan province that have been confirmed to contain around 50 billion cubic meters of gas. This is a great breakthrough for the Chinese government and will add to its aspirations for exploration of the deep sea even more. This discovery will help China to become energy independent, which is very crucial for the growth of a country as big as China. China's National Offshore Oil Corporation recently announced that the new oil field will be called Baodong 21-1. This discovery also shows that China has achieved great technological advancements in the field of deep water drilling. Researchers and experts believe that this discovery has also made it very possible in the future. China might discover more such oil and gas reserves. According to reports, these newly discovered reserves will help not only provide energy for its current inhabitants, but also ensure that China's energy supply will be stable in the future, as the prices of gas and oil are increasing every day around the globe. In addition to this, the benefits of these huge reserves of oil and gas will exceed beyond China. It will provide a healthy oil market for all the countries around the globe. Well guys, if you have been watching till now, don't just give up, because this last plan for China that we'll be discussing today is absolutely mind-blowing. We all know about the historic Silk Route and its importance in history. Well now, China is planning to construct the new Silk Road. Officially known as Belt and Road Initiative, this mega-infrastructure project is something that the world has never seen before. Launched back in 2013 by China's president, this vast project of investment and development was originally meant to connect Eastern Asia to Europe through roads and railways. Now, a decade later, this project has expanded to Latin America, Oceania, and Africa as well. This mega-project will not only physically connect China to the rest of the world, but also significantly increase its political influence as well as positively affect the economy of China and other countries involved. Initially, the plan was to construct a network of roads, railways, and energy pipelines both westward through former Soviet republics and southwards to Pakistan, India, and the rest of South Asia. Now, in addition to these physical infrastructures, many special economic zones have been funded by China in these countries, which will help elevate their economies and create thousands of jobs. China has also expanded its technological aid to the countries involved in this mega-project. In addition to this, China also has plans of developing ports all along the Indian Ocean, from Southeast Asia to East Africa and Europe. China's plans for this new Silk Road are enormous. Up till now, 147 countries from around the globe have joined China on this project, or at least have shown interest to join it in the future. This accounts for almost two-thirds of the world's population and 40% of the global GDP. 
Undoubtedly, China will be the future's new superpower. But the question is, will China keep playing a positive role in the world development or will it become arrogant? According to many conspiracy theorists, China's this mega project just might be a Trojan horse to expand China's military power all around the globe. What's your opinion about all this? Do you think China genuinely cares about the world's prosperity or is it just its way of achieving its personal advantages? Let us know in the comments section below. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, click on the subscribe button below to watch more videos like this. Don't forget to like it too. If you have any suggestions for us, please drop them in the comments section. Till the next video, take care. Bye-bye.